the previous tutorial we demonstrated how to place walls using the parallel wall input method. In this next tutorial we will place some internal walls using polygonal walls and numeric input. Numeric input can also be used for other input methods such as single walls, parallel walls and angled walls. Start by selecting the guideline option parallel to reference line from the catalogue. This guideline allows you to offset a guideline at a set distance from reference line or point. Left click the inside edge of vertical wall in room 1. By default it should snap to line but if not you'll need to turn on the relevant snapping through the options menu. Once you have left clicked and set the reference point a tool options dialog box will appear. Enter the offset distance of 1.7 meters and click the OK button. Move the mouse pointer to the right side of the origin point which is where we want the guideline placed which is highlighted green and then left click to place guideline in position. Next left click the wall icon in the left vertical bar and select an internal wall type followed by the input method polygonal walls. This input method allows you to insert any number of walls continuously. Depending on what version of software you're running, the predefined wall types in this video might be different to yours, however the input method will be the same. In this next step, click the tool option icon in the top horizontal bar. These options determine how the walls are entered. Select the option Do not group walls in close dialog box. Placed walls that have already been grouped can also be ungrouped after they have been entered by clicking on a wall and then clicking the green ungroup symbol attached to wall group. You can also ungroup walls through the edit menu. Now move the mouse cursor over to where the guideline and lower wall in room 1 cross and left click to set the start point of wall as shown on screen. By default the wall should snap to point but if not you'll need to turn on the relevant snapping through the options menu. Next, drag the mouse upwards to follow the vertical guideline keeping the wall snapped to it. The wall to be created is attached to the mouse cursor. Do not left click at this stage. As described in previous tutorials, use the key combination Ctrl and W to toggle between the wall edges and wall axis. Select the inside edge, which is relative to our room. Using your keyboard, now type in 2 meters. Distance field in the numeric input bar at bottom of screen will highlight. Next, press the tab key. The angle field will now highlight. Enter 90 degrees, ensuring that this is following the vertical, the vertical guideline. Press the return key or click the apply button in the numeric input bar. Your first wall will be placed in position at the length and angle specified. Using the same numeric input method, now enter 0.7 meters in the distance field and press the tab key. The angle field will highlight. Enter 140 degrees and press the return key. Next, enter 1.2 meters in the distance field. Press the tab key and enter 180 degrees followed by the return key. The final wall will connect to the inside edge of wall in room 1. To complete the wall input, press the escape key or right click and select complete element in the context menu that appears. The wall tools will still be available in catalogue. Press escape key again to activate selection tool if required. If you do make a mistake at any point when inserting walls and wish to start again, click the right mouse button and select cancel function in the context menu that appears. On completion of above steps, your wall display should look like the example on screen and room, room 5 will be generated.